Hi everyone, welcome back. And yes, as the title says, this is inexpensive lip products from drugstores, beauty supply stores, and even like online beauty sites that sell, that sell makeup. I was asked to do a back to school series on inexpensive makeup that students or beginners in makeup can actually purchase without and get good quality but don't have to put out a crazy amount of money and like buy high end. So while um, when I got a request I decided to put to do this in a little bit different. I'm going to do eyes, face, face and lips. Um, in lips, I'm actually going to be doing lipstick because I have a crazy lip collection and then I'm going to do, so the lipsticks will be in the video, in this video like the title says and I'll do lip gloss and lip line in another one. I will also be doing eyeshadow palettes and single eyeshadows in one video and then I like primer bases, eye pencils, liquid liners, that kind of another video and for face products, I would more or less do all of those together in one because Usually we like a variety for lips and eyes, but face we generally kind of stick to like one foundation, one primer, or just very few in the collection. So this is the introduction to this whole back to school series of inexpensive drugstore, beauty supply store makeup. And I try to pull some of my favorite as again showing you my entire collection. Don't want to ramble too much because I know this is going to be a very, very long video. So let's dive right into the recommendations from inexpensive. I decided to keep it simple and more or less share with you like what grabbed my attention as I was starting to build my collection. And the first brand that I have to go with would be Jordana. I actually at one point had close to 30 Jordana lipsticks and this more or less had to come from their regular line. They now have a modern matte line but they had a regular line which was in a silver package and then the gold, the gold represented matte colors and the silver barrel um, colors were just like more satin, some had shimmers and some had a gloss finish. I have a couple favorites um, in the silver barrel and I have to mention geranium. That has been, if you are new to my channel, then this was like a holy grail pink for me. I absolutely love it. I wore it with almost every and anything. I rocked this, um, this geranium Jordana lipstick for like forever. I actually finished one of these. Then I have here was Hip Rose which I felt it was almost like a dupe to Milani's Rose Hip. And if you know Milani Rose Hip you're going to see that it's quite similar in nature. And of course I have another pink hair saline. This is uh, Vivid Rose. Again same line. I should have brought a nude but again. They're all pinks but they're different and these I absolutely love with the Jordana line. You can see how opaque they are except, I mean geranium does not look that opaque but um, on my lips it actually looks really pigmented and crazy and I like it because I can build the coverage up to like whatever I want. From same Jordana, the matte line, my favorite and this was introduced to um, Miriam and this is Rouge. Rouge R O U G E and One Swipe, best red, hands down red that um I used to work with. It like introduced me to red lippies. Then Lavender Lady, love, love this. It's like a gorgeous morph color. It's more pink. You can really see pink coming through, but it is a morph color. Absolutely love this. I finished one of this already. I was looking for my pink passion but I couldn't find it and then there is fiery coral which is a beautiful coral color and it's gorgeous it's pretty opaque I just had to swipe twice because of where I was putting the swatch but these are absolutely gorgeous and so inexpensive they're like one US and I'll definitely recommend you like between one to two US you can definitely get them within the last I think year Jordana came out with what we what they class as a modern matte lipstick so it's a matte lipstick with a modern <laughs> twisted, I don't know. But I have two of the ones that I regularly grab. Um, there is popular, which I don't have here. But these are generally what I have like in my bag for work. This one is Tease. I thought Classy would have been my favorite, but Tease ended up being my favorite because it is a pinky kind of nudish color. It looks gorgeous on nude lip liners and also on pink lip liners. And then this one is Classy. Style is a red one and I definitely also recommend that, that red because it's amazing. It's actually one of the reds I killed recent, like just kept using. So this is classy, it's that mauve 
nice rose color. I went through a phase where I was just using a lot of um, rose morph colors and this totally satisfied that craving. So that's it for Jordan, a very inexpensive. And the next brand I actually decided I'm going to go with would be LA Colors. Now I've decided to more or less do like beauty supply store brands. Then I am going to do what's available locally in Trinidad and Tobago and then some of the others that you have to order online or you get in the US drugstore. And next would be LA Colors and I know this is usually available in almost all beauty supply stores and this is the one that is um, hydration plus color so that it's moisturizing to the lips but not altogether like it's not glossy but it's very hydrating this color is one of my favorite and this one is passion flower and of course it has like purple tinge to it and these actually do have a very nice scent Jordana lipsticks too also generally have a really yummy scent if you don't have one that's yummy you may want to check to see if it's gone bad in you this is razzle dazzle and this is a unique color i it's like has some red in it but it has like purple it's more like a yeah, berry color i absolutely love this too and the last one they have a lot of nudes and the last one is called forever and forever is more like your pink more pink than all of the others but it's like a blue tone pink another beauty supply store would actually be these la colors um yeah no la girl cream lipstick and first one here would be last night i was introduced to this color by ishi uh she kept raving about last night it's really a nice bold bright pink now these are extremely creamy they're cream lipsticks they are very comparable to really high-end lipsticks these are amazing i love the feel of it they do have a kind of weird scent that i don't like but in terms of feeling and wear absolutely amazing this one is called soulmate has like a tinge of red in it well it's not tinge so red um but it's how to put it it's a true in my opinion this is almost like a very like a true red it's not blue tone or um yellow tone it's just a really nice red and then tell me lies is a nude in the bunch that it's like you have to build it but it's just like that nude if you just want to put on something you want your lips to be hydrated but you just want to look like you have on something in your lips Tommy Lies is that one for you now there is a like a purple color one and it's called passion I couldn't find my original passion that's open but this one is new I just thought I'll still share it with you for those of you like like for those of you like fuchsia purple kind of pink lipsticks this one is beautiful gorgeous definitely would recommend you to get it and these are the LA girl cream lips still sticking with beauty supply store I have these Clinistas lipsticks and these are so inexpensive they are like between one US dollar to two US dollars at 10 TT dollars this one is tea rose absolutely love it for everyday wear I'm actually going to be putting this in my office just to wear um, it's buildable smells very yummy but it's super gorgeous it's like to me it's a perfect everyday wear nude kind of lipstick and I try to remember I think this is spell something but it's a nice lavender I mean it looks crazy there but I love putting this on top of a pink lip liner and some or I can put a pink gloss on top of it and it looks beautiful love it and I I mean this is like so opaque I have a review on those I am going to jump to City Color because I love their lip wears. They, they have really good lipsticks. But the ones that stood out to me are three sets. This is a City Chic set. And they're very chubby. And the packaging is a little bulky. But they are pretty nice. The first one I have here is Pucker Up. Ooh, sounds like from Kirsten. And it's like your nice pink, bold, fuchsia pink. A fish, yeah, blue tone pink, it's gorgeous. And then a muted version would be Diva. These have a kind of um, I have a scent, I can't put my hand on the scent, but then I have a rose muted color here, and this is called Pinky Promise. So that's like a nice mauve rose, pink rose color there. 
and the ones that everybody always rave about when talking about city color would be their B matte lipsticks which Queenie and um, a couple Nisi, a couple YouTubers actually did help name so I have a red here let's go with it it's Jenny it's a gorgeous gorgeous red now these tend to be a little they're matte lipsticks but they tend to be quite drying so I always like to um, put on like a lip balm first before applying especially for a whole matte lipstick kind of stuff that creates you need to put on a lip balm but these were amazing their wear time absolutely absolutely amazing and this one is called Queenie of course it's one of my favorites it's that bright bright pink and the reason you see me swiping is not really to build up coverage but they are applying a little drying to the hand then we have here Nisi. So Queenie has like purple, like mauveish kind of pinky, and this one is like bold pink out there. Love this one too. I also have Francesca here, which is a vampy uh, color, but a lot of people I know love this. If you want a nice vamp, definitely check out this. And then we have here this one is cappuccino, and I love cappuccino as. A everyday kind of nude so that's cappuccino there all right and next city chic colors we have are the creamy lip stains these operate almost like lipstick this one is cool so it's called tickled tickled pink cosmo and that's what it looks like and it's here it's gorgeous bold pink next to it is flirtini and we have um, something sangria oh, I can't remember what's it called sweet sangria which is that gorgeous like vampy red it's beautiful 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 colors definitely something that I will recommend for you guys I'm going to actually have to do these videos fast I'm talking too much so I have to do another part to this but these are the perfusion matte lip gloss and lipstick so it's duo it's inexpensive it's like two US dollars um, 12 TG dollars one side you get a liquid matte lips lip gloss lipstick and the other side is matte so the first one we have here is number one I have reviews on them already so that's it there then the next one is number four and that's number ten and these are amazing there is like 12 I think in the entire collection they come with lipsticks lip gloss absolutely amazing and the last in this part one video I will feature the LA girl matte flat finish pigment gloss I just have three I don't have a lot in this collection but I have two nudes here that I'll recommend this first one is Fleur, and that's it there and then the other one that I have is dreamy so that's Fleur and that's dreamy so you can see the difference and then this um, purple here is called stunner everybody's raving about these but I find it not the best in terms of comfort um, wear and comfort but and some people say they're so hard to come off for me they did they, they actually wear very quickly inside and then I have the stain or the stay on the outside and they also are so drying that my lips usually feels crazy they're tight they're tight but a lot of people rave about these and they love them so this is it for part one part two are going to feature more like um other makeup brands that are available my local drugstore um if you're interested i'm speaking about pennywise then i'm going to talk about some other like nyx and wet and wild black radiance etc so if you want to see those pics look out for part two to this video thanks for watching i hope it was helpful